Oh, it's chilly this morning, too. Uh huh. Yeah. But she is getting upset because she's wanting something to suck on and she keeps trying to get her thumb in her mouth. And she's full, so I'm not wanting to just keep her latched because she drinks more and then she starts spitting up. And as soon as I stepped out, she's like, oh. <laughs> Hey. Even though it's a little bit cold. Yeah. It's only well, like, like probably 60, 58, maybe 60. How many hours do you think you slept last night? Three minutes. Yeah, so like six. Mm -hmm. I'm five, yeah. still so tired. So, so dead tired. I'll imagine how tired you are. Oh New baby. Gosh, she's so cute. Oh. Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You and Daddy to hold you? Mm hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so cold. Oh my gosh, though, you did so amazing. <gasps> I'm sorry, I didn't even help you hardly. <laughs> I gotta go take a bath. Yeah. <laughs> Love you, baby. Love you. Sarah is incredible. Maybe she has some like mommy power that I just don't possess, but I'm so tired. I can only like get up at certain points in the night and help her whenever she needed to like use the bathroom or or a uh, transition for a minute. So I would hold her during that time, but I would like pass out. I can't sleep with her. <coughs> oh, bless you, bless you. Oh, we better go inside. Yeah, we better go inside. But uh, I didn't want to sleep with her because I was passing out and I was going into a deep sleep and I was having dreams where I was like fighting and thrashing out and weird stuff. <laughs> so then when you're like, ah, I, like hit her and be like, oh, I was getting the robber. And it was actually this little girl. So, yeah, yeah, daddy didn't want to do that. <laughs> so mommy had to take care of you. Hey bro, good morning. Are you listening to Pure Imagination Storytime? Yeah, we recorded a bunch of stories and it's so cool because he gets to listen to them now. Stories are recorded like a year ago. He loves stories and these are some of his favorite. He also daddy, likes stories how about, how about we do a story? Whenever we can. Yes. Would you like to do a story later? Today? Okay. How about we do start doing one every day so I can start listening to all of them? Well, I don't know if we could do one every day, but we could do it more often than we already do it, right? Evidently, Axel and his uncle didn't have a surprise. What did you get? What is it? Oh my goodness. What? Are you kidding me? In like one hour. Wow. Uncle Boone getting a nutcracker. Dude, did Uncle Boone get that with you? Yeah. Wow. Rich. <laughs> Definitely one of that, them is good. You right? are rich. Dude, this is so cool, bro. River, your brother got a bunch of pecans. Oh my gosh. With Graham Graham. Would you like to trade? Uncle Boone's teaching Axe about bartering. Yeah, like, bartering. Uh, but I had all these pecan trees in my land and I had to spend time to water them and pick them. So uh, I want uh, one persimmon for 10 pecans. Can you do that? Okay. Bartering. This is maybe yes. a few more <laughs> that I needed, but oh, maybe it'll last for and about sometimes, a few Sometimes you might say, <laughs> but I worked really hard for these persimmons. So I want 15 pecans. But and I then you haggle. Really hard for these okay, and then I say, well, I work really hard for these pecans, so 13. So try to haggle, Bubba. Yeah. And you could say, <laughs> uh, yeah, is it worth it to do it for 13? Or you might say 14, or you can say, yeah, that's a good deal. What do you 14. say? 14? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I would like 10 persimmons for all. So you're just gonna swap? Just gonna swap? <laughs> okay. You know, that, that's actually more like what they would do. Yeah. Yeah. If they went all the way to the market, they wouldn't want to come back with any of their pecans. Yeah. But then if you only came for persimmons, that would make sense. But if you wanted to uh, get other things from the market, right. you would want to yeah, save so some of your bartering you material. Yeah, so like what if I don't <laughs> like what if I don't like pecans? What if I say I want some apples? <sighs> well, I have the apples. So <laughs> Patrick has apples, so I have the apples. So if I say I want apples, what do you gotta do? You do apples. How do you, you get the apples? 
Who, I like pecans. So who uh, has friendly guy who has apples? So what do you gotta do to get? What do you have to do? What do you have to do for Simmons? If anybody had some pecans, I'd give uh, one apple for five pecans. I'll give you four pecans per apple. Four. Uh huh. How about three apples for thirteen pecans? Three big apples in. 14 pecans. 14 pecans. If it was 15 pecans, that means they would each cost five. But he's giving you one pecan off. So he's giving you a deal. I'm making it complicated. <laughs> All right. Could at least make it equally four divisible. Pecans. He's just learning four. math, guys. What's three times four? I don't know. What's, what's four plus four? Eight. And what's plus four again? Twelve. Twelve, you're right. Okay. All right. Twelve pecans. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah. Now you can probably use the. Okay, so uh, I want an apple. I want three apples for two percentages. <gasps> I would haggle on that one, Axel. Uh, how about for four percentages? Four. Uh, mm. I'll do three. Three apples for three percentages. I'll tell you what. I'll give you uh, a lot of pecans and three apples. So that's four persimmons. How many pecans? Like three pecans? Yeah. Um. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. Big one. Yeah, the biggest one. Here's the biggest one. Are they huge? They're big. Yeah. That was a good, a good deal there, Axel. That was a good deal. Right. Push, push, push. There you go. You're almost. Yes. You did it. Oh no, squirrel. Is there? Oh, you stole my nuts. You have to sling. I'm gonna have to get a sling slingshot. Oh no, I missed him. There's a crazy squirrel in this truck. Oh my gosh, I have to go tell my other squirrel hunter that there's a squirrel stealing all of our pecans. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the little girl is asleep. And Axel wants to show you guys something. <laughs> what is it? <gasps> oh no, there's growth on his fingertips. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, no, no, guess what? what? Oh, it's no. so he, terrible. No, he ate some raspberries, and then all of a sudden I said, what's wrong with your fingers? And they were like, bloop. They're and growing on your fingers. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, can I have a bite of one of them? No, no. Uh, I'm gonna keep them like this forever. Forever? I have raspberries every day. Look what I'm gonna do though. What are you gonna do? Ah! Uh, <laughs> hey, where'd your raspberry finger go? They're disappearing. Where are they going? Are you eating them? Mm -mm. What? They're gone. They're gone. You're back to normal. <gasps> He's back to normal. Oh, thank goodness. They're eating it? Uh oh. Yeah. Look out. There's placenta Look at <laughs> So, what is it that you have I'm here? Going to eat no, it. I'm not eating it. Thank you. So, yeah, those are two pieces, and these are two pieces of the cord. Mm hmm. So, I'm just telling myself it's just like steak tartare. I've had that. This yeah. is what you do on your vlogs. So, people are like, these people are disgusting. <laughs> I have to watch their next, next vlog to see what other disgusting things that they do. <laughs> Uh, more placenta. <laughs> more placenta. <laughs> more placenta. Kids Did you eat some of that bird? Placenta. <laughs> you got this. Is there okay. any sort of like taste or anything? Or? No. It's just it was hard because it's frozen. Right. So right. I needed to let it. Let it thaw. Okay. But bit. then when you put it in your mouth, it's like all like a slug, you know? It's right. Like, oh, mm. like a slug. <laughs> slug delicious. <laughs> Have you had a slug lately? <laughs> Have you had a slug? I'm going to slug lately. Oh, oh. How's the placenta this time of year? <laughs> in the fall. In the fall. <laughs> okay. Now we got to watch how I'm feeling in about an hour. Okay. See so how like. There's a. A popcorn eating kitty in our kitchen. What on earth is happening? I sure hope the floor is clean. Otherwise, you might be picking up bacteria that you've already picked up millions of times throughout your childhood. 
cleanup crew, aisle six. Popcorn kitty needed. <laughs> I need a popcorn kitty. What are you doing? <laughs> it's called Choose Your Battles. <laughs> 